Is your wrapping paper so disorganized that it has you wrapped up in knots? There's a hack for that. Follow me. to another episode of my Fabric Flop series where I scoured the internet looking for organizing hacks to put to the test to see if they are truly a fabulous idea or a flop of an idea. And in this episode I'm going to talk about wrapping paper hacks. Now I've done a previous video on all the different ways you can organize wrapping paper and just go click on the i-card up there or you can click on the link below and it'll take you to that video I did with various ideas for storing and organizing your wrapping paper. However, in this video, I'm going to show you three wrapping paper storage hacks that I really do think are fabulous hacks. It's just there's certain things that they never tell you in the videos or the pictures they show that could be potential problems. So that's what I'm going to point out in this Faber Flop episode, okay? Now the first wrapping paper hack that I think is a really spectacular idea is simply using a curtain rod just a simple pole and maybe some command hooks that you hang here and then you get these shower clips. These are actually shower curtain hooks and you simply clip the long tubes of wrapping paper on them. Now I really, really like this idea. I think it is a fabulous idea. There are a couple things that you need to be aware of, okay? In some of the pictures that they've shown of this hack, they use like teacup hooks heavier duty ones, but for me when I tried that out it didn't bring the bar out far enough from the wall so that the wrapping paper, certain wrapping papers were actually kind of angled out like this because they were pushed so close to the wall. Okay, they didn't hang nicely. Um, so I got these really large command hooks that really kind of stick out far so when I put the bar into them it kept about a finger's width away from the wall. That's what you want to make sure, however you hang this, that you want at least a finger's width so that these can slide fairly easily without scraping your wall. Can you hear that? If they're... You don't want them scraping and leaving marks on your wall because they can scrape if they're holding. So you want it out a little bit from the wall. That's one thing that you want to make sure you are aware of. You also have to be aware of to place it at the right height, the correct height. Um, you can see that these wrapping paper tube lengths are different and you want to make sure the longest tube you have will fit without dragging on the floor. Okay, so some of these are going to be up higher. Another thing you might want to consider is the damage you want to do to your wall. Okay, if I were to hang this up with teacup hooks or even a curtain rod, you know, they've got those little metal hooks, you're putting holes in your walls. That's why I chose to go with command uh, hooks because they can hold a lot of weight they have uh, hooks that can hold up to five to 10 pounds each without damaging your walls. And that allows you also a little versatility on where you're going to put it. And versatility with this is very important. And I wanna point out something else you need to uh, consider is when you have these, you wanna have enough space to grow. So if this is my starting amount, is this gonna be, am I gonna buy more wrapping paper as the year goes on? Do I need a lot longer wall to handle this? Now, having a curtain rod, one thing I think is brilliant about this idea is that a curtain rod like this expands. Okay, so I can make it as long as I want, you know, depending on which curtain rod I buy. So when you're buying the products for this hack, make sure you think about room for growth because that is very important. You want to either get a, a curtain rod that's long enough and also wall space that would be long enough to handle it. The other thing you want to make sure of is that your curtain rod can handle enough weight. With just these, what is that, six rolls, this is actually, a, this is getting to be a couple of pounds already. So you want to make sure you buy a rod that is sturdy enough to handle the weight and you want to make sure you buy the correct command hooks that can handle the weight. And what's nice is this kind of system you can tuck it behind a door. You know, when the door opens, you have that space behind the door. That is valuable storage space. No one sees it when you open the door, but yet you have it nice and organized on the wall, behind the door. Another 
a way to organize your wrapping paper is with a regular old curtain rod like this. Super inexpensive at the store. Normally they come with these little hooks to hang them on the wall. Again, I don't like putting holes in my wall and I know this hangs down like this, but I did that for a reason. By using command hooks and letting it rock a little out, it allows for different widths of tubes. You can see how much wider this tube is than these. So I wanted to have a curtain rod that could ultimately fit a wrapping paper. You know, depending on how much wrapping paper, you want a little variance in this. The downside is, as you can see, these tip a little bit, okay? So that's something to consider when, you <laughs> when you're putting a system like this up. This is only two to four dollars, depending on the size. Now I've taped this because I want this curtain rod being used for another project I'm working on in my house. But they're expandable, again, so you can, it can grow with you. And if you use command hooks instead of these, which are gonna put holes in your wall, you can change the width as your wrapping paper grows or shrink it down as it shrinks down, <laughs> okay? So it allows for life to happen is what I'm saying. You know, during Christmas time, we have loads of wrapping paper in this house. Come June, maybe not so much. So both of these wrapping paper hacks are great ideas and versatile ideas for if you, you don't have a real designated storage space for your wrapping paper. Now one final organizing hack uh, for wrapping paper that works brilliantly in any circumstance is simply a tall wastebasket. I got this one from Walmart. It was, I think, $7, $7.50, somewhere around there. Really inexpensive. And you can literally store any size, any shape, in there in any amount. Super simple. And then just tuck it away in a corner somewhere for storage. So it gives you a real inexpensive way to just kind of corral all those different size tubes. And um, you know, this isn't the only size they have at Walmart. They have thinner ones. Um, again, depending on the size you have. And these baskets, again, if you have about six to eight inches behind your door, they can tuck away in there. They're out of sight, but you can get to them easily and find it. And you can put a little bag that would contain your scissors, your tape, and some extra bows and ribbons right in there as well. You can either hang it, um, tie it, and hang it off the side a little bag, or you can get a little box and tuck it in there if you have extra room. The possibilities are endless. So all of these three wrapping paper organizing hacks are a big thumbs up for me. They work wonderfully, they're very versatile, they're very inexpensive, win-win-win all the way around. One final wrapping paper hack that I think is absolutely fantastic if you don't have too much wrapping paper that you're storing, and that is simply using an over-the-door shoe pocket organizer. Um, I got this one at Walmart for $4.88. And you can literally, what you do is you just cut out the bottoms of a few of the pockets so that the tubes slide through. So when you go to just store your wrapping paper, you simply slide it through the three pockets like that and it holds. You can even store smaller ones, you know, it pretty much is custom, you can customize it to your needs. Well, again, the downside of this one is that it doesn't hold too much. But a big plus is that you could put it on the back side of any door so no one's going to see it. You know where it's at. The other pockets could be used for tape, scissors, ribbons, bows, little gift cards, those little tiny ones that they have. Uh, you can even store tissue paper uh, fairly easily in these pockets. Very uh, easy on the budget, easy to do, and um, it works. Well, I guess that wraps things up for this Fab or Flop episode. If you enjoyed this and found these uh, ideas helpful, please give me a big old thumbs up. Poke that like button below. And if you are new to my channel, poke that subscribe button as well and ring the bell so you know when I'm uploading new organizing videos. I'm Pam with Organizer AZ 911. I'll see you next time.